Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744 Extra. And since I've just finished all the total drama seasons, naturally, I should be doing a ranking video. Now, I actually did one a few years ago where I did an outdated one and I did kind of a spoiler free one. This one, other, this one though, I'm going to be going to spoiler territory. So if you're not seeing the seasons, please do not watch this video, guys. I will be spoiling pretty much all the seasons of the total drama. And like I said, this will be pretty much the updated one. I'll probably keep that one as unlisted or maybe I'll keep it as a public one. I'm not sure. We'll see. And yeah, like I said, guys, let's try to get to 10 likes on this video, guys. And let's try to do this. Let, let me know in the chat, guys. And then I'm thinking maybe next weekend, guys, I'll be doing my characters ranking. I'm going to do a, all character rankings now. That's going to be a big one, guys. This will be a big one. So next weekend, I'll be doing that video. Okay? So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So coming in ninth place, guys, the worst season for me is Total Drum Pack 2. This season for me is the worst season. And what makes the season so unbearable is the fact that most of these characters I just simply didn't care for. Most of these characters I thought were very underwhelming, were very poor, poorly constructed. And there's only a few characters in this cast I genuinely like. Like, I like Sky, and I like, I guess, Sean to some extent, and Jasmine. The rest of the other characters I either don't care or just flat out dislike, you know. And that's actually really, that's really sad because... When you have most of the characters you just can't like, it's really hard for you to enjoy the season, right? Because I just don't have any sympathy. I'm just going through the motions, you know? And at least the final was good. You know, we had two normal competitors, you know, Sky versus Sean. I think that was probably the best final you could have asked for. And I think that was a good final. And, you know, and I also also didn't like the fact that Sugar. I thought Sugar was a very poor antagonist. I don't think Sugar was a great antagonist whatsoever. She really did she she really didn't um do much antagonistic things. She was just doing her own things. Scarlet was only evil one episode. Like all around, this season is just a mess. It's just a flower of mess. The only redeeming aspects of the final is decent. That's pretty much it. Other than that, though, everything else about the season sucks. And for that reason, I have this season to be ninth. It is the worst fall drama season in existence. And I never ever plan to watch any replay of the season ever again. Only once is enough for me. Next up, it is 8th, is Total Drama All-Stars. Of course, you guys know Total Drama All-Stars is a generally disliked season. A lot of people have said this season is one of the worst seasons of Total Drama. And I don't feel like the season is as bad as people make it out to be. I do like the fact the pre-merge was good, you know. I like the pre-merge in particular. But once the merge hit, man, this season really went downhill. And what's so sad about this season is this season has so much potential. You know, you had the hero versus villains idea. And it was such a cool concept in theory, but the actual execution was so underwhelming. Like, almost all the characters in this season were stupid. Almost all the characters got to, got nerfed so badly. The only characters I believe that didn't get nerfed were, like, I suppose, like, Scott and Alejandro. And maybe Courtney to some extent. Although, Courtney, the last episode, we know what happened that infamous episode, Sunday, the Sunday episode. So, I mean, it's just a shame because I, I just didn't like what they did a lot of these characters. Like, Gwen was now more cheery girl, like so completely opposite to what I saw on Total Draw Island. Heather was um more stupid than ever. I mean, I, I don't know why she hit the idol for that. That was really stupid. And the Duncan would be in this hero act, like it was just so weird. And like I don't know, man. I just didn't like it. And then obviously you have Mike being uh the villain, and for me, a uh, Mike just didn't a uh, Mal just didn't cut it for me as the villain. I just didn't enjoy Mal's villain. I thought his whole villain stick was basically him being evil, like, ah, and the breaking stuff. Like, he didn't do that much antagonistic things. Sure, he got Alejandro eliminated, but that's mainly more so because of how Alejandro was perceived. A lot of characters just didn't like Alejandro for what he did previously. So, as much as I give credit to Mike for that one, it's not really, I can't really give him that much credit. And, you know, and then Mike versus Zoe, such a lame final, such a boring final, such a hit, such a predictable final. I wouldn't say predictable, but such a, like, a boring final and everything, and it just didn't cut it. The only redeeming aspects were, I guess, Scott being funny, and I guess some of the pre-merge episodes, some of the challenges were good. But overall, this season's just a big mess. I'm sorry, this season's really underwhelming, and I, I didn't enjoy this season. Oh, by, by the way, I forgot to give my grades. So, Pogs Island, I'm giving it a D. This one, I'm giving it a C minus. C minus is my grade. Moving we'll next is Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Now, Revenge of the Island is a season that I personally like the theme itself. I think the theme of Toxic Waste was very interesting, very cool, and I think it's a very cool concept, and I kind of wish they did this again, but obviously I don't think you could ever do this again after what happened, and also after after we saw Chris got arrested, so we'll probably never see this again. But um, what makes the season very disappointing for me is the fact that most of the characters were kind of filler characters, I feel like. Like, most of the characters just didn't really 
add that much to the grand scheme of things. Like, B was just kind of there. Sure, he had the little moment in episode two, but really, B was just there. You know, Stacy was there as well. And I just feel like, for me, my biggest issue with this season, though, is the fact that I just feel like this season, for me, was a bit underwhelming. Now, I, I feel like the season isn't as bad as people make it out to be, and I don't think the season is that good either. What makes me very disappointed with this season in particular the most is the fact that I just didn't really like the finale in particular. I didn't like the fact that we had a guy versus guy final. I just thought it was a very poor choice. Um, and I felt like the best final you could have had was Joe versus Brick. I think that would have been a great final. And for me, this camera versus lightning final to me, it was almost like they're trying to repeat to an action final. You know, lightning sort of like being Duncan, kind of like being that anti-hero, supposedly. Uh, the camera being the underdog, and that's basically bad. So they were basically repeat. They basically repeat a season two finale. Now I will admit, I love this finale. I think the, the Revenge Island finale might be the best finale of all the the troll drama shows. Actually, it's the second best. I'll say World Tour is probably best, but th this one is up there. And I just feel like for me, man, I just didn't really enjoy the season that in particular. I didn't really enjoy Scott and Titus. I thought his whole strategy was very stupid. Him basically eliminating people, uh, intentionally losing the challenges. I thought was very stupid. Uh, I just didn't like. Scott that much. Um, Mike and Zoe, they're more tolerable this season than All-Stars, so I'll give you that, so that's why it's a little bit above, but like I said, the grand scheme of things, this season is just very underwhelming. There's not really, it's not really that amazing. Not really that bad either. It's kind of like in the middle. It's kind of like a C for me, so I'm going to give this season a C. Moving next, we have, it is sixth. We have Toronto Island 2024. Now, the issue for this, so Told Island 2024, my big issue with the season, though, is that I, this from this point on, guys, I like all the seasons, just to let you guys know. My big issue with the season, though, is that I feel like this season, for me, I just didn't like the fact that it was almost kind of like the same as Island 2023. And the only difference is that some characters just do better here and some characters just do worse. My big issue with the season, though, in particular, is the fact that I just didn't like Wayne in the final. I'm sorry. I don't know why Wayne is in the final. In particular. I just feel like Wayne shouldn't be in the final. I don't understand the purpose and value of Wayne. And I just feel like Wayne is just, I just don't understand. Like, I don't know what argument he has to win. Because I feel like Bowie, I feel like Julia uh, versus Caleb would have been the perfect final. I think that's probably the best final you could have asked for. Or maybe you could have Julia versus Damien. Damien also was very deserving. I think he also maybe could have made the final. He was probably the, the, I feel like he was very much robbed with the whole immunity idol statue thing, which was kind of a shame because they basically repeated what happened to Heather and, this time, the difference though is that we didn't see. Uh, the difference though is that uh, K uh, Julie didn't use her immunity in that episode. That's pretty much the difference. And yeah, so I mean, like I said, guys, I, I feel like the season is just not that amazing. And as much as I like Julie as the main antagonist this season, she was already very antagonistic in the first season. So I, I kind of wanted to see someone else. You know, I suppose you could say uh, she wasn't the main antagonist the first season. I suppose you could say that. But by the end of the day, man. I, I, I don't know. I feel like the season was just not that. Um, it, it was okay, I suppose. You know, I did like the relationships. I thought Julia and MK being friends was kind of interesting. It was kind of something that went out of nowhere since they were kind of enemies the first season. Axel and Ripper being couple was kind of weird, I suppose. I don't really mind it, to be fair. And Julia Caleb is another couple. It was kind of interesting. And the Wayne and Raj obviously strengthened their friendship. Bowie and Raj strengthened their friendship. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's it's decent. Um, I and I really feel like the season is just injustice in Nichelle. Nichelle, I don't know what she did. She, I can't believe she quit. That that was such a pathetic elimination. Pathetic elimination. And maybe what I'll do in the future, guys, is the uh top ten uh worst eliminations. Maybe I'll do that, guys. Eliminations that just doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'll do that as another video. But we'll save that for another time. But yeah, I mean, this season for me, man, it is a good season. I'm not trying to say it, it isn't a bad season, but I just feel like for me, this season is just. Kind of just good, but it's not that great. So I'll give the season like a B minus. Total Island House Green Three. Now this one is good. This is my fifth place season, by the way. What I like most about this season is that I feel like this season does a good job on giving the characters all structure and purpose. You know, and I really like the fact we got the final. I think the final here was amazing. Amazing final. Julia, so this is not Julia, Priya versus Bowie was the best one you could have asked for. Because Priya, to me, was kind of like the main protagonist this season. And uh, Bowie's like the main antagonist. And they repeated what happened to the Tour. And I really liked this final in particular. I really did like this final. I thought this final was amazing and everything. And I also liked the fact that how good Bowie was an antagonist. I thought Bowie was an amazing antagonist. He was great, in my opinion. Um, and Priya as well. She really had to work hard to win this. And what I like most about Priya is her voice acting is amazing. Like, her voice actress, you can genuinely tell she's 
not this perfect human girl that we have envisioned. And that's why I like it so much about it. That's why I prefer her over the other female protagonists, you know, like the likes of Zoe, the likes of Sky, even though they made the file and they won it. Um, I just didn't really like the fact that they were perfect, too perfect. And that's something that, well, to be fair, Sky was really not perfect, but Zoe was way too perfect, you know. And I really like the fact that Priya was this girl that you could genuinely relate to. You know, there was a lot of times where throughout the season I could relate to her, you know, and she was like this perfect competitor. So, yeah. Um, I also like the fact that Dawn replaced Chris. You know, the voice actor that did Dawn and Redoctor's Race, I thought we did a decent job with Chris. Shep was a lot more tame this season, not as strict as it used to be. And then obviously Emma and Chase, you know. So, like, like I said, I feel like this season is a good season. And I did like the fact that Julia did change her colors. Like, initially, she was, like, seen as this good, good, goody girl. And then she now became this evil person. Like, it was basically like what Alejandro did. It's like, she was, like, the female version of Alejandro, I suppose you could say. Which is pretty nice, indeed. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this season was good. Um, I'm going to give this season a B plus, And I do prefer this one over the, the, the reboot season, too. And, yeah, that's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. A lot of these characters I genuinely do like. In fact, I'm going to say this right now, guys, before we move to the next one. This is my second favorite cast after Told you, after the first gen. I'll say this right now. The fifth, uh, the fourth place, fourth place I got here, guys, is Told World World's War. Now, I believe the season is still very overrated, and I still feel like the season, a lot of people do overrate the season too much. Now, let me, let me get this straight. It is still a good season. Let me make this clear. It's still a great season. I still do enjoy the season a lot. My biggest issue with World's War, though, is the first half is so forgettable. So forgettable. Basically, in essence, what happened the first half is that the whole team victory just got wiped out 1v1, 1v1. Basically, Alejandro basically took the, almost the entire team down, except Ezekiel. Um, and I also like the fact that I, and I also didn't like the fact that um, I just thought it was very boring. But once Duncan returned, guys, that's when the season really peaked. That's where you saw so much drama between the whole Gwen and Courtney thing. And I'll be honest with you, as much as I like the drama, it did last a bit too long. It lasted a bit too long for my liking. I feel like they dragged it out too long. Um, and I really feel like Duncan should have been eliminated first. Because, sure, you can blame Gwen all you want. But really, it was Duncan that did the whole thing. Because Gwen actually felt bad doing this behind Courtney's back. Whereas Duncan didn't feel any rem any sympathy whatsoever. So I actually would have said so. Duncan, but obviously, they weren't going to eliminate Duncan so soon just after we returned. So like that's kind of like the problem there in the writing, you know. Alejandro obviously being a main and Titus was amazing. Him and Heather, the dynamics they had together was amazing. You know, they're very, they had this on and off rivalry thing and the friendship thing. And it was really cool. And I really did feel like both these people then may deserve to make the final. I thought it was the best final in Total in history. I really liked that. Um, but the Cody, this season really gave Cody a purpose. Uh, Sierra was also great. Um, and yeah, I, I really did enjoy the season. Um, it's just like I said, the first half I just didn't really care for it, just didn't really enjoy that much, which is why. I don't have it that high. Uh, but yeah, fourth place for me for Total World Tour. Third place, Total Action. Now, I believe this is a pretty underrated opinion, guys, but I thought Total Action was an amazing season. I thought, to and by the way, I'm going to give World Tour probably a uh, B plus or A minus. So I'll give it an A minus. This season was amazing. I really liked the season in particular. What I love most about the season is that every character that didn't do so well the first season was given a redemption, essentially. Like Justin, Beth. Lindsay was given a redemption. Um, Harold, Lashana, like, all, well, maybe not Lashana to some extent, but you get the point, right? A lot of these characters that didn't do so well the first season was given redemption. Like, Courtney was also given a redemption. And that's what I like so much about this season is that this season made it very interesting. But as I said with World Tour, I have to be fair here. The first half of Total Action is very forgettable. Basically, the first half is a whole Gwen and Trent drama being dragged out. And then once Courtney came in, that's when the season really started to peak for me. Um, and I really did enjoy the season. I thought the season was great. I love the movie set. I thought the movie set was amazing. The world tour aspect was also great. You know, going over the world and the songs was pretty good. But here I really liked the movie set. And I would love to see another season do this. My biggest issue with though with this season, though, is the fact that I didn't like the final. I did not like the final whatsoever. I don't think Beth is a deserving finalist. I'm sorry. She didn't really do much of the grand scheme of things. Sort of like what I was saying for Wayne. She kind of was just there and everything. I feel like Beth is the same. Lindsay should have made the final, guys. It should have been a Lindsay versus Duncan final, or even a Lindsay versus Harold's final. Duncan, for me, I can un un somewhat make an argument for. I do think Duncan is somewhat deserving, but I don't even think he's that fully deserving, as much as I say that, because Duncan was very much almost getting voted off almost every episode consecutively. So that was also a bit problematic. And 
I didn't really like Justin that much as an antagonist, I'll be honest with you guys. And as much as like Courtney as an antagonist, guys, she just had too much power. She just had so much power with so the whole PDA thing, special food, special treatment that it almost kind of, she didn't have to work that hard as an antagonist, which is kind of another reason why I didn't really like the antagonist that much this season. But, and I also didn't like Owen returning. I thought Owen returning really made the season go downhill. Like, it's so unfair. I'm like, why did he return? Like, it's just so stupid. Then he gets the third place finish when he, like, I, Sure, his first elimination was kind of unfair, to be fair, but still, like, it's so stupid. Like, that shouldn't have happened. Basically, the last few episodes of the season kind of tanked it for me. Otherwise, I may have put the second or even potentially first, uh, but I think third is probably fair. The second of the race. I love this season. I love this season. What I love most about the season is that this season was something different. After the disappointment of Pac-2 Island, after the disappointment of All-Stars, we actually had a genuinely good season where all these characters, or at least mostly characters, were genuinely likable. And what I like most about the season is the, the dynamics between the two teams. The ice dance has been a, a cool antagonist. Like, they did everything they could to win. They cheated so much of the time, and they were getting punished, punished. And what I like a lot about the season is that this season really gave to me the total drama's back. You know, like, after the last two seasons, I don't know what total drama's thinking. And it was also nice to see something, a bit of a refresh, a bit of a fresh, different start. Instead of doing, like, um, a survivor-based game, do amazing race game instead. You know, having teams compete amongst each other and last place gets eliminated. It has so much drama in the sense. And it was so, such a cool concept in theory. And it was all about your challenges in particular, which I thought was great. Um, the only thing I don't like about the season is that I don't like the server dudes coming back for the final. I think I was a very un kind of stupid in my opinion. I didn't like that. That was very undeserved. And um, that's the only little blemish I have with the season. Other than that, though, I, I, I this season's still very good. So I'm going to give this one A+. Plus. I'll give Total Drama Action A. a. Uh, then finally, the last season, man, Total Drama Island. The most iconic season of Total Drama, guys. You guys know I took this number one. What This season did such a good job at introducing all the characters. All the characters were given great introductions. And what I like most about the season is how bad Heather was. Like, how dislikable Heather was. Because Heather was just such a character that you just didn't like whatsoever. You really didn't like her. You really didn't like her. And I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't really... I, I of, of course, I enjoyed Heather as an antagonist. But from a human perspective, I didn't really enjoy her whatsoever. I only really enjoyed her from World Tour onwards. Which shows how good the writers did a good job of making her such an unlikable character. That even uh, us fans didn't like her. You know? Because she was just such a cool antagonist. She did everything she could to eliminate people. You know? And I really like this final particular with they so that because I know a lot of people complain that Owen shouldn't have made the final everything. And I disagree. I think Owen for me was one of the most friendliest guys here in the cast. He was such a likable dude. He did everything he could. And sure, he did kind of float in challenges. To be fair, he wasn't the best in challenges. But it also shows how good his social game was. It also shows that in particular. He really had, did have a strong connection. And I thought Gwen was amazing in challenges. So Gwen deserves to make the final. And I think Owen versus Gwen makes a sense. I think Owen versus Gwen is a great final. And I think it's a, it's a good final. So there you guys go, man. That is my total draw rankings for you guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys have any disagreements with me? Let me know in the comments below. Please run a like and subscribe. And let me know any other I told you my videos you guys would like to see in the future, man. I'll definitely look forward to your comments. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.